What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we have another viewer's car. This is Maurits, his Porsche 996 Turbo X50. This is a manual gearbox 996 with the X50 package that gave you a little bit more power because it has different turbos and it is sort of the predecessor to the Turbo S which came later on and uh, had all the things you get on the X50 package plus carbon ceramic brakes and a CD changer and a couple other things. But this is basically the Turbo S before there was a Turbo S. So today I'm going to show you around it. We'll take a look at it. We'll take a look at the spec and then we'll go for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. So Maurits actually submitted his car because we made the video with the other 996 Turbo with the roof package. And uh, well, really, really cool that we get cars like this from our viewers. And funnily enough, his dad actually bought the Jaguar XFRS estate that we filmed, I don't know, three or four years ago, maybe five years ago. Uh, it, it, that was an amazing car. We really, really loved it. And uh, we're super happy that Maurits' dad has it and he is also really happy with it. I love those like coincidences, really cool. So today let's have a look at the 996. If you want to go in depth into the 996, click in the top right corner. We made a review of it very recently. So check out that video if you want to know more about the 996 in general. I'll do a quick recap of what the 996 is. One of the least loved Porsche 911s ever basically, mainly because of the headlight design. And the Porsche 996 911 was developed together with the Boxster 986, the first Boxster and the, the two kind of resembled each other a bit too much and maybe that was good for the Boxster but it was not really good for the 911 but Porsche did this to save costs during the development of this car because Porsche wasn't really doing well financially back then so uh, they shared a lot of the suspension setup parts of the interior the headlights and the rear multi-link system is actually from a 993 uh, so they kind of developed it on a budget but still, it was the first 911 in a long time that had a new platform. And even when you drive it today, it is actually very impressive, which, uh, yeah, it's always cool to drive old cars that still feel like really, really good today. Wheels, we've got these classic 996 turbo wheels. Absolutely love this design. It just break, brings me back to my childhood, uh, which is very nice. These are 18 inch wheels, and this is a 225 front tire. These are Pirelli P0s, I think. Yeah, P0s. Behind that, regular steel brakes, perforated discs. Brakes are not fantastic. Uh, I have to say, I, I braked a couple times earlier on the B road here and the brake pedal is a bit mushy. So the Turbo S, as I said, got the carbon ceramics. They built these cars from 97 to 2004. And then the Turbo S, and the GT2, GT3 were built in 2005 and 2006 as well. Uh, but I think, you know, carbon ceramics, as always, it is very nice to have. At the rear, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S rubber, and this is a 295 tire at the rear. So a bit more rubber there. Beautiful design here in the bumper with these vents. Love that, love the exhaust design. Weird tips, but they look so cool. And this car has a sports exhaust as well, or an aftermarket exhaust, I should say. Uh, Maurits is not really sure what it is, but it does have some sort of improved exhaust for some more sound. Aero pack. I also saw that there is an aero pack for the X50 with a fixed wing, uh, but this car does not have that. So I'm not sure how that works. If there was an X50 pack with an optional extension for an aero pack or something like that but uh, yeah so engine wise we've got this 3.6 liter turbocharged flat six and uh, this is actually a derivative of the legendary and uh, highly praised Metzger engine that you would also find in the 996 GT3 uh, it is a lot more reliable the Metzger engine than the regular version and uh, it has 420 horsepower normally but with the x50 pack you get upgraded k24 turbochargers and upgraded intercoolers and an ecu tune and you get 450 horsepower which is the same as you get with a turbo s which came after this as i said so this is basically a turbo s 
power wise this car also has a different suspension kit and in the interior we have a lovely carbon fiber steering wheel absolutely gorgeous and uh, some carbon on the dash and a manual gearbox so last time we had the automatic uh, this time it is a manual and it is very nice although it is super light both the clutch and this is just like it's so crazy it you can just throw it in you can actually throw it in there it's crazy light and uh well it's it is pretty precise but it's not as nice as like a 997 that's a big improvement over this i would say but still super nice to have a manual and maurits also got the porsche uh, carplay update as you can see you have like a modern infotainment here uh, and, and you have carplay and android auto i think which is this is really smart i love this because it just it makes driving an old car a lot easier so before we get going and uh, have a drive i just want to let you know that we've got a new device here which is the racebox mini s which is a gps lap timer and drag meter basically uh, so we use it on the autobahn and to do zero to 100 and quarter mile measurements of course but you can also use it on track so you can enter a track and use it as a lap timer but for us and our use we use the drag session and then we select the custom one which is zero to 100 100 to 200 200 to 50 and quarter mile and then you get this really cool digital speedo and your times are down there or you can also tilt it and you get a more digital display so we're going to use that today use code 996 turbo in our shop to get a 10 percent discount on a racebox mini s and the racebox mini s also has its own storage so you can actually save your uh, laps and your data and stuff on the device which is very nice so let's start it up <laughs> And uh, you do hear that it has a, an exhaust because it is quite loud. It's very nice. It's kind of screams at high revs. We have a mile an hour speedo. So I'm guessing it's a US spec car. Maybe that's why it doesn't have an aero pack or something. Maybe that was different. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to uh, have a little drive and We'll do a 0 to 100 measurement with the race box. Traction control off. Oh, it is. It's so nice to drive this car. It's, it's quite amazing. As I said, it doesn't feel as old as it is. And because it's still. Oh, it's still very quick it kind of surprises you by how good it actually is i think it weighs like 1500 kilos maybe but because you have 450 horsepower and quite a bit of torque it is uh it's actually it feels very good very modern so let's do a 0 to 100 regular 996 uh, should do 4.2 and the x50 should do 4 but it's very difficult to launch this car well uh, so we're going to try anyway and see what kind of time we can set with the uh, with the race box All right, here we go. Come on. Good launch Come on Four seven that's not very good. So we can definitely do quicker than that but it's uh, it kind of it hooks up it either hooks up or it starts skipping a little bit which yeah that's also not what you want so let's do one more because i can definitely do quicker than that all right here we go come on four and a half seconds so that's a bit quicker. Uh, I think Martijn did 4.4 something. So uh, if you have the perfect launch, then you should be able to do four seconds. I do believe that still, still after all these years, uh, like 20 years later, you still should be able to do that, which is kind of cool. So as you can see, it gives me the times as well, the race box, and then it, it, it goes green or red if you have a, a better or slower time. It 
sounds mean to this thing, it really does. I love 996s, I really do. It's the, the controls, everything feels really easy, well weighted, apart from the gear lever, which is just way too light, but like the brake pedal, the, the clutch, the, the steering, it's very easy to operate. And of course the 996, as I said, it was not really that loved for a, a long time. Actually, people kind of looked down on it. And, and when you drove a 996, you were definitely not a cool Porsche driver. But I think that has changed a lot recently and people have started to really uh, appreciate these cars, which is good. They have gone up in value as well, of course, as a result. But it's a very nice, nice driving car. It's just, it's easy and fast. I think 100 to 200, third, there we go. Third and fourth gear, so that's 8.7. We did 8.5 is the fastest we did, I think. Uh, which is actually quick. Especially for 450 horsepower, especially for a car this old. actually had it changed recently to make it a bit softer and it's very good it soaks everything up here we go thank you kind sir full throttle bit of wind noise this is of course also where you feel the age very very impressive the way it just it accelerates and it feels like it's no trouble whatsoever for the car to do this gearbox with a turbo engine is so much fun because you have those strong mid-range pulls and then you can shift you have that pause and just the driver involvement is so good why haven't they made like a manual gearbox electric car yet something that would be like not too much power like maybe like 300 horsepower electric manual gearbox is that possible i i, I would actually love to drive that i think that would be pretty funny Manual gearboxes just make everything so much more fun. Oh. <laughs> Turbo power. Love that. So you can actually slide it a little bit. I did, I did a little slide earlier in first gear. It does send quite a bit of power to the rear. It's, uh, it's not bad. 
and also if you just quiet down a little bit and drive it regularly it's also just a nice car you have good visibility it's not super cramped in here seating position is a bit awkward but it's also the, that's always the case with older cars uh, so it's not great steering wheel could be a bit further towards you seating position could be a bit lower maybe but I mean it's not bad and it just it feels very special this car it feels analog and, and mechanical so one last pull towards the gas station seconds super steady it's getting warmer but it's just getting quicker it's it's very very good uh, and Maurits has some other cool cars that he is going to bring soon so uh, yeah looking forward to that Maurits you've bought an amazing car and uh, I really really love driving it thank you so much for coming I hope you enjoyed watching your car on our channel and uh, also to your dad uh, really good choice on the Jaguar XFRS which is over here actually you can see it the red one super cool car and uh, well that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it you can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle you can also check out this video this playlist and i'll see you at the next one bye